breeze through there. And uh, early in the morning, I'm waking up to some kind of noise and commotion. There comes Barbara into the room with her, her hair on the fire. And Bill being old enough, knew what to do. He read that sheet and sweated it out. But what had happened, uh, we had a gasoline water heater in the basement. So she did, about once a week, from time to do the washing. My mom would go down, light that up, make hot water, and then do the washing. Well, she was rushing around, and like she always did. That's where Barbara got it, it was from my mom. <laughs> and uh, she went down and lit the, lit the heater, and I went back upstairs to do something, and the, little, the thing went out. But gasoline continued running out of the floor. Pretty soon, uh, Mama realized that was going on. She went down, she mopped it up, dried it up as best she could, went back upstairs, and Barbara followed her all the time. But she went back down to light it off, and uh, Barbara went right with her. But she made her sit at the top of the stairs. Peter was right at the bottom of the stairs. Well, Mama lit that match, but blew Barbara right out the back door, put her hair on fire, burned my mom pretty bad. I didn't lose either one of them. So there were some scary times for that. But all in all, my sister and I had a relationship that was good. She was a hardworking, intelligent lady. She was a good mom from all of her. I don't know if saw that today. She dedicated to her family, both Marty's and her own. And I'm blessed met her, to have loved her, to competed with her, <laughs> my sister Barbara.